Hey guys, what's up? I haven't done one of these videos where I just like sit down and like talk to a camera, but today I am. Oh, I mean like I usually do that, but like like not a vlog type, like when I actually like have a camera on a tripod and I'm talking to it. But yeah, so I'm doing that today. This video is a tutorial because um, I, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Here's my links and stuff. But um, I posted a photo a while ago with this like marble laptop skin. I had the caption of something like, why would you pay like $25 for a skin if you can like make one for like $7 or something like that and um, I got a lot of questions like regarding like how I did that so um, this is what it ended up looking like as you can tell it looks pretty cool I think um, I'm gonna do a tutorial today on how to do this because I don't want to answer any more questions so yeah it's really simple you don't need that much stuff um, I'm actually doing this on my friend's laptop I noticed that this laptop isn't like mine and this Apple logo the Apple logo on here doesn't actually glow so, which means it's going to be a little bit more hard to cut this out, but it should still be doable. Also, before I get started, I just wanted to say that you can pretty much do this with any type of skin. Like, just go on Amazon and search up, um, for the skin type, just search up contact paper and whatever type of design you want. You can, I know they have, like, chevron designs, they have marble designs, they have, like, black marble, if you're into that. I don't know if there's white carbon. I really wanted white carbon, but I couldn't find it. So you just search up, like, contact paper, and you can just buy, like, a basic white one or something like that and draw on it and then put it on so it's like you really can do anything with this it's like super customizable so yeah okay let's get started <laughs> Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your laptop and put it on top of your contact paper, usually on the paper side, um, not like the actual printed side. And then you're going to take pencil and trace around your laptop. I would say leave around a half inch to one inch of space. So after you do that, you're going to want to take your scissors and cut it out. The next step would be taking like a microfiber towel and just cleaning off the surface so that when you put the paper on, it's all clean. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is tape your contact paper, or not tape, like put it on your laptop, I guess, cause it's a sticker. So you're gonna want to put it on your laptop, uh, follow it like the way I did it in this video. And if you want, you can use like a credit card or like a gift card to smooth it out that way it would basically help eliminate all bubbles but you can see like right now that i'm just like trying to align it um if you do happen to misalign it do not do not worry it's fine you can always peel the paper up like nothing will happen to your laptop or the paper so like you can basically like see i'm peeling it up right now you can basically peel it up as many times as you need to to get it perfectly aligned After you've gotten the contact paper settled on the laptop cover, you're going to take your hairdryer and basically pull down on the sheet of paper as you can see I'm doing that right now. Pull it down and put your hairdryer on medium power and just like blow it along the side. This will help the contact paper curve. This step is crucial for those who have older MacBooks or those who have laptops with curved edges because the newer MacBooks have curved edges but not as much as the older ones do. But essentially what you're doing when you're blowing on the when you're blowing the hairdryer on the paper is you're allowing the paper to like deform a bit and stretch over the edges. So if you don't do this step, the paper is not going to fit on the laptop correctly. So make sure don't skip this step at all. Make sure you use the hairdryer and make sure that all the edges are like pulled down and they're like creased. The corners are a little bit more difficult to work on, especially because they're rounded, but what you're gonna wanna do is take like an in the entire corner of the paper along with part of the side. So you can see that I'm pulling down on the side as well. You're going to want to pull it, don't be light on this one, pull it really hard down. That way it can like form a rounded seal around the corners of your laptop so make sure you use the hairdryer and 
pull the paper down really hardly. I don't is that a word? I don't know. But you're gonna want to pull it down as hard as you can. Not to the point where you're gonna break it, but definitely with like a bit of strength. And then that corner should be settled. So you're just gonna keep going down along the edges and do this to the entire laptop. Eventually, as you're doing this like creasing step, it's gonna get really the paper's just gonna get in the way of everything. So right now I'm trimming it down. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the knife your exacto knife and um, basically just cut off the edges really simple you don't have to go super close to the laptop but it's pretty easy to trim it um, that way the paper won't keep getting in the way and it'll be easier to do other sections later So after I trimmed out part of the annoying paper, I'm going in again with the hair dryer and just pulling down on the edges. So right now I'm just cutting it a little bit more precisely. What you're going to do is take the knife and run it along the edges of the laptop. Don't worry about scratching it. You're not going to scratch this aluminum part. It sounds like you are, but you're really not. Don't worry about it. Just cut along the edges, get rid of that tiny little paper that's sticking out. And yeah, so you're going to want to do that to all the sides and including the corners, which can be a little bit tricky. Just be patient with them. They're sometimes annoying and do not cooperate with you, but it's okay. You'll get it. It just takes a little bit of time. So this is the final product after trimming it. You can see that the sides are pretty much flush with the paper and yeah, this is what you're going for. So the next step is to cut out the Apple logo and in this laptop it doesn't have the Illuminating logo like the Pro and the Air does. So you can kind of see the marks of the logo like where it's supposed to be at. So I'm just going through and trying to out I'm going to outline it with pencil just so that I have a better idea of where to cut and so that I won't mess up basically. After you've traced out the logo, you're going to take the knife and very gently you're going to trace around the logo. Don't try to cut through the paper because you're going to scratch the logo. But if you you're tr try to think of it as like scoring the logo and making a preparation so that you can peel it up later. So you're going to very gently go around the edges and then at the end, you're gonna like make a little cut in the paper and then take the knife and pull the logo out. After you score the paper, what you're going to do is take the knife and try to go under it as you can see what I'm doing and once you've pulled the paper off, you'll be able to like basically peel the rest of it off no problem. And after that's done, just go through it one more time and make sure that the edges are clean and you're done. That's pretty much the, the, there's all to it. Um, all you really need to do towards the end is just like make sure that for the logo, it's like just like go through it and like be careful. I would just say be careful because it does require steady hands. Otherwise, you will scratch the crap out of your laptop. So definitely be careful. Go lightly. Just like basically score around this and then like pull it out. That's basically it. So you can see it does work for if you have an illuminated logo, which is a little bit easier to do than this one, which isn't illuminated just like a reflective type of thing when this is illuminated and you have the screen open um, my laptop's actually dead but um, yeah when you have the screen open basically this will light up and you'll be able to see it and trace it completely accurately whereas for this one you would have to like kind of like guess a little bit and like go by the outline but it does work you can still do it so yeah I hope this video was helpful if you are considering doing something like this it definitely takes time but it's not hard so all you really need is just be careful. That's really all I can give to you. So yeah, if you're going to do this, good luck. Um, it usually it turns out pretty nice looking, I would say. That's all for this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if it did help you. And subscribe. I usually do like vlogs. Um, occasionally these kind of videos. And yeah, so 
Bye.